In this video, we'll be going over unique binary search tree too. Given an integer n, return all structurally unique BSTs, binary search trees, which has exactly n nodes of unique values from 1 to n. Return the answer in any order. So in our example 1, our input is 3. So this means we're allowed to use the nodes from 1, 2, and 3. And as we can see here, all of these trees are valid binary search trees, which basically for each of the nodes, all of the nodes on the left is smaller than the current node, and all of the nodes to the right is greater than the current node. Let's go over the dot process. So we are given a number n, which means we can use the node values from 1 to n to create our tree. Then for each of the numbers from 1 to n, which we will denote as i, we can create a root node with the value i. Then the values from 1 to i minus 1 can be used to create the left subtrees of i. Then the values from i plus 1 to n can be used to create the right subtree of i. Then in order to generate all of the possible subtrees or BSTs, we have, we have to pair up all combinations of left and right subtrees, which are rooted at i. Let's go over the code. So we're going to validate the input, the input parameter. If n is equal to 0, this means we cannot create a tree, so we can just return an empty list. Then we're going to implement a recursive approach to generate all of the trees, all of the BSTs. Then we ask what parameters do we need? We first need our current left boundary. So our current left smallest value, initially 1, and then our right, our right boundary, so initially n, which are the valid range of values we can initially start with, which is 1 through n. Then in each of the recursive call, we're going to create a list roots to keep track of all the roots of the BSTs. Then if left is greater than right, this means we cannot generate any of the, we cannot generate any trees, so just add no to roots. Else, we want to iterate through from left to right, which would denote it as i. And then we want to find the left subtrees and the right subtrees first. So we're going to recursively find the left subtrees of i. So we're going to call it left subtrees of i. Then we're basically setting right to i minus 1. As we can see here, it's setting from, it's basically set going from left to i minus 1. And then we're going to recursively find the right subtrees, which we'll call right subtrees of i, which is setting the left to i plus 1. Now we want to pair up all of the left subtrees and right subtrees. So we're going to perform an nested for loop on left subtree and right subtree to pair them up, which we can denote as left subtree and right subtree. We're going to create a new node root with the value of i because i is going to be the new root. And then we're going to set root.left to the left subtree. And then we're going to set root.right to the right subtree. Then we're going to add roots to roots. Then we can return roots. Let's go over the code. So we're going to first validate our input parameter. So n is equal to 0. 
we're going to return an empty list, then we can implement our recursive approach to generate all trees, keeping track of our left and right boundaries. We're going to create our list roots to keep track of all the roots of valid binary search trees. Then if left is less than right or greater than right, this means we cannot generate any BST here. So I'm going to just add a null node. Else we want to iterate through the indices from left to right to generate each of the root nodes. We'll first recursively find the left subtrees. Then we'll recursive find the right subtrees. Then we want to pair up of the left subtrees and right subtrees to find all possible combinations. We're going to create a root node with the value i. And then we are going to set the left subtrees and right subtrees with the new roots. Then we're going to add the new roots to roots. Then we can return roots. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.